Um, Jira makes it easier to track sprints, to groom the backlog, to capture epics and features and stories and bugs and test cases, to plan sprints, to view boards and charts to see what, you know, who's working on what next, to manage the workflow. We we'll talk about that too. To add story points in your estimation processes, to collaborate with team members. All of that is embodied in Jira and the way they bring it together is really, really in interesting and useful and functional. They have screens that pop out at the side things that pop over like the way they have built the software really speaks to how well they understand their users and really helps to quickly navigate and get what you need and take the next action quickly right so it's not perfect by any means i don't mean to over embellish it there are some things about jira that i, I <laughs> that irks me as i use it every day but overall for the most part it is pretty good yeah, it's a pretty good software. And so this is one of the most popular software tools used uh, in software development projects. Sometimes you use it with just bug tracking or ticket tracking. It can be used for many different project management uh, uses, but the majority of the time it's been used to handle agile scrum. For the most people who are using scrum, you can also use it for, for Kanban as well. It's very popular for that too. But a lot of the companies that I've used it at has been using agile scrum. And it's just a great tool to manage your agile process, whichever one you choose. So this is what it looks like. Typically you have a board, uh, it has, you know, these columns and we call it like a Kanban style that you can see in your active sprint. You can see stuff. It's not very clear in this screenshot, but don't worry. We're going to get into the tool itself and that would be very clear, but this is just an idea of how Jira is laid out. This is one layout which is called a board view. You also have a backlog view, you have a roadmap view. Um, you can have a list view if you look at a, a filter or so. So there's many different ways to get to the same information. And as you can see, they, they have a very good use of color. Uh, they don't let you make too many color choices, right? You have to stick with the color they prescribe, but it really helps you to have enough variety to tell the different types of epics um, and things pop out at you. And there is these arrows that mean, you know, how prioritized these things are if it's urgent or if it's low priority the green stands for something the blue stands for something else so there's a lot of information in each of these cards that you can absorb just by looking at the, at the board right so it tells you a lot too so they've really incorporated all these little things to help you to work faster and to get the information faster too as you're moving through your software development process